How vain worldly things are, how great divine things are, how sure eternal things are, as the supplication to the Our Lady written by Maria Giuseppina Norsha recites. And it's true, men like hamsters, inside a small cage, run faster and faster, on a small wheel, only to discover at the end of their existence, of having run so much for nothing, of having made so much effort for nothing, to have sacrificed for things that are worth nothing. And then to discover that they are always at the same point, always prisoners, although older, more tired and emptier. Jesus knows this, he knows man well, his weaknesses, his inclinations, his fragilities and for this reason with his divine heart, wants to free the man from the cage of the illusions of the world, and from the wheel of slavery that men and the enemy of God have invented, to make him run in vain. And thus shows him the way, where to find full and eternal happiness, to walk, run and then fly, in a path of growth and awareness, on the only road that leads to the only true and infinite happiness. God. To the one true and infinite beatitude. God's love and the conquest of eternal life. This is the treasure and the truth that everyone in their own existence must discover. Here is this feast that today brings us back to all those saints and martyrs who have well understood this message, who have found and understood this treasure, and for which they have given everything. For the love of a God, so invisible for those who think only with human criteria, but so tangible and present, for those who know how to open their hearts completely, and know how to be reborn from above. Children who, who have been able to go against the mainstream, often unpopular, misunderstood, of yesterday and today, which however have sacrificed everything, even their lives, when it was necessary, not only physically. Do not think that martyrdom is only physical, as it happened in the past, sometimes it is intimate, spiritual, invisible to others, but it can tear in the sacrifices, in the renunciations, that the divine call involves, to always put God, however, in first place. To bring God into everyone's heart. Before every human dream, before every earthly desire, God first of all. 